So the death of Jesus is significant for several reasons. I'll just mention three. The first is that his death was the means of atonement. So Jesus gave his life as a ransom for many. He made it possible for us to be brought back into relationship with God. So the big theological uh, reality of the atonement is completely wrapped up in the death of Jesus on the cross. But that's not the whole picture. It's also a model. Jesus is giving a model for his followers as he's going to the cross. He's saying to them, you take up your cross and follow me. That was their instruction. Of course, they didn't follow that too well. In the Garden of Gethsemane, they all flee as he's heading for the cross. And so there's a bit of a contrast there. So there's the atonement, there's the model. There's also the revelation of his identity. On the cross, we get to see who Jesus is most clearly. And we get to see him as the sort of glorified king, uh, enthroned, if you like, on, on his cross, uh, on his throne. But at the same time, we get to see the suffering servant. And so we're seeing, if you like, both extremes of his identity coming through. And without the cross, we cannot really understand who Jesus was. So the cross is massively important for understanding uh, the atonement for understanding the model of what it means to follow Jesus and also for pointing us to the identity of Jesus as both king and suffering servant.